May all those who journey find what they seek, dude. So this match is going to go on for a while. I will take my open attack first of all. And we're going to play Salaria Priestess and we're going to look for Velu. Velu is the name of this game. So I guess the Traveler is going to be a fantastic pickup. I could take Written in the Stars, but judging by how long this game might go for, cards like the Traveler are going to find more value than actually drawing a unit and buffing it, specifically a champion. Especially when we're like playing into cards like Ruination and Deny and Vengeance and lots of cards. I'll take another Traveler. We're gonna do the old, the old traveler into the traveler into the traveler strat. It can never go wrong. Double go hard. What an insane lad. Double go hards in the opening few draws. That's insane. I'll take my free damage first of all. In case of Thresh, right? Equinox probably isn't going to be a fantastic card here, so I'll take the Warrior. So Thresh will pull the Solari Priestess. He's on nine mana right now. I guess I'll go for the Daybreak here, just to keep activating Leona, and then we'll play the Warrior, and we'll attempt to try and trade off the Thresh, most likely resulting in a Vengeance, which you'll probably play this turn, honestly. A vengeance on the warrior is probably a pretty good outcome for me. I'm surprised he wants to float that much mana. It's a shame I haven't really got denies in my hand. I don't mind the open attack here. We're basically forcing out the vengeance now. I don't think Spooky Calm is on Concussive Palm. I might be wrong. This might be actually a Concussive Palm. The way he's hovering two cards there makes me... Oh, they are a Concussive Palm deck. What's this all about? Wait, how does this ever make sense? This is ranked, right? Why doesn't he double... What? Am I, am I missing something? There must be a reason for this. Why would he hit... Why would he hit? I'm so confused. Because of Bastion, maybe? I think he was playing around Bastion there, guys. That's nuts. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Even at war, you remain so far. Would panicking help, brother? Do I develop you sewer here? Your brother said hello, or rather, screamed it. Impossible. Death, no, nothing that's simple. Yes, you. The dragon lives.
your eyes. No mercy for heretics. I guess this looks okay. I'll see what he does here. Dude, so many travelers. So much travelers, dude. Traveler meta. So I don't see any reason. It's really annoying because I really want denies in this matchup, but I just can't find them. I'm more than, more than likely something's gonna get plastered onto this warrior, right? I'm also just like pushing a lot of damage here. Like I am a double deny, a double nopify deck. Like it's not, it's not an insane, it's not insane to think that maybe we can find some cool cards here. The only way I can stop... Wait. What if I hush the Thresh? I think I would like to make the Thresh not flip. That would be kind of an interesting play. Also, going for a Pale Cascade here means that I could potentially find Deny. Concussive, not exactly doing anything fantastic. But I think we're in a good spot. We're in a fantastic spot here. I could put... Yeah. This should be acceptable. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a board full of travelers. And it's going to look poor guys, dude. <laughs> uh, nothing too exciting here. Uh, Crescent Strike could be interesting... I guess it's it's the best card here. May all those who journey find what they seek. May all those who journey find what they seek, dude. <laughs> so if he finds a uh, pack your bags or the the rock, rock or the rock your rock your bags. Actually, the crescent strikes kind of very interesting here. Because I can potentially stun up the Draggling to deny healing and the Thresh. Uh, Crescent Strike's actually insane. It means I don't get any great activators for... Hang on, it's, it's probably not Crescent Strike, right? Because then I can't really get my Daybreak shit going on. Do I ever just play Singular Will because I'm fucking troll as? How many cards do I have in hand? Too many. <laughs> That's mega troll. Yeah, let's just crescent strike here. Just deny him like fifteen thousand hills. I could do I ever trade this off? I do like, I do like all my, uh, travelers. The thing about playing singular will is that like, it's actually not that good here. Is this what you see? I guess we'll trade off here. So basically, hopefully we can find Our will never fade. Deny, ideally, would be fantastic. Deny would ideally be fantastic.
the 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 ruckus or whatever the upgraded version of pack your bags i'm pretty sure it costs five mana though doesn't it so we shouldn't really be able to play out here yeah go hard So basically, I'm just looking to kind of like get bet up by everyone nation. He's only on 4 HP though. Everyone nation is not exactly fantastic for him. I can honestly just swing at this point. But I do think I'll play one more unit. Like this should just be everyone nation, right? And then I can't really stop it, which is fine. So now what I can do is I can play Blade Twirler first of all. Because uh, Concussive Palms... He got me. He got me. Okay, so... Shield Bearer or Solari Soldier? Shield Bearer. So now we're threatening lethal, he's going to have to play some sort of unit here. And it's just over. The Travelers, it's too much value, dude. Too much value. <laughs> uh, too many Travelers.